My name is Juana Flores. My name is Al Dupont. <laughs> my name is Jen. Jennifer Lee. My name is Jenny Dang. My name is Sally Ito. My name is Jose Aliaga, more, more commonly known as Andrew. My name is Priscilla Martinez, and I've been playing in Taiko for five years. I actually never heard about Taiko until I came to college. I didn't know what Taiko was. I've always done music ever since I was five. I've always been in some sort of ensemble or played some sort of instrument. And so I kind of wanted to continue doing that in college. And taiko, since it's a percussion instrument, it's something I'd never done before. So I wanted to try something new. It was Anthony that like took us back to the barn and he was like wearing an apron and holding like a banner or a flag thing. And I just remember thinking he looked really funny <laughs> because the apron thing was new to me. We went to the bar and then they performed for us um, and we were like super close to them and I could feel like the taiko drums like booming off and echoing off the walls and it was just a really cool feeling that made me want to join Sanrio even more. Just because it was cool, it's awesome. And out of all the block parties, I've never been to a block party at all. But this one, because I heard that Nelly was playing there, I thought, oh I want to go see Nelly. And then that's where I found the booth of taiko and you know, the rest is history. It's getting hot in here. <laughs> UCR's ensemble page had a link directly to Center Yutenko. And so I found out about them, and then I went to orientation, and I saw them tabling, and they had really cool shirts. I told myself, I might try it out. I just might. Little did I know I would love it, like, love it so much. <laughs> I actually met Elise and Albina. Most of you know them. Um, but I met them a few years ago at a Cal Poly Pomona party for NSU and it was completely random and this was before I transferred to UCR. It was right when I found out that I was about to transfer and then I said I wanted to join Taiko and I was like, you know, looking to, to maybe check out their group and they're like, we're in it! We should join! The first thing that came out of my mouth was, do you guys only accept Asians? And then he just looked at me like, no, no, we accept everything. And I was just like, oh, okay, okay. I first saw, saw them play, or heard them too, play Nanohana, and from there on I thought to myself, I want to learn that song, I want to play that. And I was just like, I want to do that, I'm going to do that. Okay, I'm going, I'm going. So then I went, and I remember walking up to the barn, and there were like a whole bunch of people there inside, and then I got scared, and then I started walking back slowly, but then one of the older members at the time, his name is Brian, he saw my shadow from the door. So he came out while everybody's still talking inside. And he's like, hi, are you here for sending your title? And I was like, uh, no. <laughs> and then he was like, really? Then why are you dressed like you are going to go play some title? Like you're wearing your shorts and your tennis shoes. And I was like, oh. Okay, yeah, I'm here for a cycle. <laughs> and then he was just like, um, are you gonna come in? And I was like, I don't think so. And then he was just like, why? And then I was just like, there's too many people. And then he's like, you should try it and you should just give it a shot and stuff. So basically the only reason why I'm in a cycle is because one of the older members basically saw me and he convinced me to try it. The very first Monday from practice, we didn't hit the drum at all, and I was just like... The first time I hit the drum, uh, I don't think I even hit it that hard. I think I tapped it really lightly because I didn't want to break it or anything. Uh, but once I did hit it hard, uh, I got all giddy inside, you know, like a little schoolgirl. I put a status after, after I hit it. It was awesome! I was actually really scared. <laughs> Weird? Because being a girl, our boobs get in the way. Throughout the whole trial process, I avoided the, the drum as much as I could because I just felt like if I played on the drum, um, my, mistakes, my mistakes would be more noticeable. So I didn't want the older members to hear my mistakes because I knew at the time that I was like always oh, off time. I got caught, I guess. <laughs> and then they told me, Anna, get on the drum. Stop avoiding the drum. Be noticed. The tryout period, a lot of times you're on tires, and it's like, oh, you make a mistake, it's alright, nobody can hear you. But then when you're on a drum, 
everybody can hear your mistakes. My first performance was at Homecoming. It was NSU J of Remembrance. With uh, Jennifer Lee, uh, we both couldn't make the very first performance the other newbies performed at. There was somewhat of a stage, but still small. This is tiny ass space in the Watkins, Watkins 1000. But it was pretty loud inside and blinding lights also. My first performance was at the family housing um, near school and I just remember being like really nervous like we we played Mod City just one song but we ran it right before we had to go perform and I just remember my leg like shaking like crazy like I was playing but it wouldn't stop shaking It wasn't in that um, was it like housing thing but it was actually at the park so it was more spacious than like crowded I was nervous, really nervous, but at the same time, I was more excited to just play Taiko in front of people and, you know, actually get to see if they actually like it or not. And funny story, after that, we got like a bunch of chicken, like a bunch of orange chicken. I was like, yes, benefits of Taiko! <laughs> it was for this thing on campus. And all I remember is that we were on this stage that was really, really rickety and scary and i think one of our alums i think alan he almost fell a couple times because he was in the back i'm pretty positive that my most memorable experience was um invitationals last year which was my very first year and um then you went up there and we were just it was it was honestly one of those moments where you felt complete with your group and everybody was so energetic and so powerful and all the songs were played like like twice the speed that they were supposed to and we all kept up and it was just really really awesome performance. Probably Anime Expo since we got to perform on stage with the cameras and lights on us and everything and we we're also on like the big screen behind us. My most memorable performance would have to be this year's last spring concert. I think because I just progressed so much from when I first started that it kind of feels surreal. I remember um, my newbie concert, I messed up in Nanohana and the ending, I was supposed to do the ending pose, it was something like this and I forgot. I just stayed here for a second, I was just like, oh wait, hey. And yeah, it's in the DVD. So I'm just like, no. The other mem memorable performance was last year's Invitationals because it was so good. I felt really good. It would have to be my first spring concert because it was just really, it was my first major performance and it was just one of the best feelings I had. I did really enjoy a performance we did in Moval where uh, it was for like a birthday party I think for this family and they actually had contacted Jodaiko but they were like, we don't want to go that far. Here, send you take this gig. <laughs> um, and like we played for this um, birthday or anniversary. And afterwards, they gave us like homemade pho. And it was really cool. And they gave us like a really nice tip. So that was cool too. <laughs> uh, I really liked our performance from last year's Invitationals. Um, playing Nage with all girls and Nick <laughs> was really, really fun. And I don't know, it was just probably like one of the best moments of my life. Just that feeling of like performing really well. And I also liked this year's spring concert too. <laughs> this last concert I knew it would be my last. So I knew I had to, you know, do my best. It was so bittersweet. This time I knew that it it was going to go fast. So I was like, savor it. Don't 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 um don't autopilot and um but it was, it was really, really, really good. And I think um, this spring concert really did go out with a big bang. I think it just finally clicked when you're aware that there's, like, the audience is there. You're not afraid of the audience anymore. Um, you kind of take it all in and try to do your best because you have like so much more confidence than when you first started. I was really confident in like, my playing parts but I had that one flip in my Kodama Jam solo, just this one simple flip um, that I was really nervous about because when I practice uh, my flips, I always almost catch them, almost always catch them. But then when it comes to performances or things that matter, I almost always drop them. <laughs> so I was really nervous, um, but I ended up catching it and it made 
like my dream concert complete. <laughs> I was more nervous. And I thought I was just gonna cry on stage, so I was like, I, I can't cry. So I was just like, okay, shake it off, shake it off. But at the same time, I felt more and more joy to be playing with my Jen and everybody else with new knowledge and new wisdom from Taiko. Not to mention, see our new our new newbies play Nanohana and all the other good songs. It was it was really good. My first invitational, like I said, I was a, as like as a newbie. I didn't really know what to expect. Um, it was fun because because I'm just kind of usually bouncing all over the place, so it was really fun meeting a lot of really cool people. Everyone there was there for the same reason, um, just there to learn something new, um, experience new things from Taiko Masters, and, and also meet new people. I think there's still like a pressure every time you go back because as you get um, older, hopefully you're, you, they don't recognize you kind of thing because they know that you've been playing for a while now, so there's like more pressure. I remember being also nervous. <laughs> a lot of things in Taiko make me nervous. You know how we have like workshops and there's like the concert and there's like more workshops and then concerts. Just... And by the time I got home, I was just like, bye. <laughs> it, it was, oh, I was so tired. Because our first invitation was at UCLA. So I had like a friend who went to UCLA but he, and he came to watch us for the first time and it was just a really good experience like being able to show like my friend what taiko was and like meeting new people and like learning different taiko playing styles i think it was really like made me really feel like a sense of a community within the like taiko world like everyone coming together and just kind of learning from each other so it was a really good experience some of the world were as crazy as i am or even more and but at the same time it was also really um how you say really insightful, it gave you a lot of, they gave, the workshops were really helpful and I got to learn and perfect my taiko techniques even more from it. All of Senryu decides to take a Senryu photo shoot when Jen's in the bathroom and then and then you take like all of these pictures like yeah we're gonna put them on like our, our Senryu page blah, blah blah this is our group and then I come back and they're like what the f and I'm just like guys! I remember thinking I don't want to be a second year. <laughs> I wanted to be a newbie still. Uh, I wanted like all the attention to still like be on us because one year didn't feel like enough for me to really get a good grasp of Taiko. I guess like I felt like I had so much more to learn because as a newbie and a second year is so different. Like newbies, like I have Taiko muscles. I mean, I mean not as a newbie as a second year. I have Taiko muscles. Like we have so many, and and more than that, like. Like we do songs like Nagare that are actually really challenging and really, really just a lot more rewarding because you put that much more effort into it. Because we only had like, what, a, like four months of like actual like being taught and that, that doesn't feel like it's enough. Seeing, like especially for spring concert, our spring concert, seeing these new newbies like actually look good, look good in their kata and kakegoi was really like, Oh, it's like a joy of like being a teacher. I'm like really shy, so even like trying to talk to the newbies always like um, made me feel a little bit like weird about you know talking to people. I don't know, but you know you get used to it eventually. I'm gonna miss playing all the songs. Actually, it's like having all the flavors of ice cream. You know, you don't you feel like certain things one day and another another day. So. And also it took me a long time to learn all the songs, so I'm gonna miss playing all of them. I really like So Mom. I'm sad we haven't played it as much this year. And I really like Bara. Oh, there's so many. Um, I really like Mukashi. Mukashi's so much fun, and then it's one of those you could just you're just so happy. <laughs> um, I'm gonna miss Nagere, even though sometimes like gives me heart attacks and a lot of bruises everywhere. <laughs> but I'm definitely gonna miss that one. I'm really gonna miss the drills, like all the drills that we do. Yeah, like the ones that make you sweat and the ones that, that like, like we, like the Shime totally like Fs with you and go super, super slow and then super, super, super fast. Those are fun. <laughs> but I Rengu, just cause it's a really difficult song and I feel like I never perfect, perfected it. Um, I'm also gonna miss Kasumaki, ETG, um, and Trinity actually. 
Even though it's a really difficult song, it's a really challenging song and it's really satisfying to play. Now get a chew. Um, it's one of the songs that, like from the first moment I saw it, I was like, I want to learn that song. I need to learn that song. Tots for sure. Um, Ichiji, I think I'm gonna miss a lot. And now that it. I'm gonna definitely miss playing Trinity, which was one of the hard, like so far was one of the hardest songs I was able to learn. Oh, Kataki. The yeah. <laughs> I'll miss that. <laughs> Senri has affected me as an individual by not making me feel alone. I've made so many good friends in Senri and they become like my family. And sometimes I get really emotional just thinking about um, leaving, I guess. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> what did I say? Muscles. Just kidding. Um, <laughs> um, so what's really cool about Senri is that we have this intercollegiate woven like community and um, without without Senryu I wouldn't have met so many people from so many different schools and be able to you know network with so many different you know Taiko people. So my first two years I didn't really talk to that many people but then my um, the years afterwards I did and it, it makes Taiko a lot more fun. Like the end of my um, was it my senior year in high school to my transition to college I was kind of like being too hard on myself and um, I was actually to like to the point where I was like thinking of committing suicide and Senryu has like pretty much um, helped me like regain myself and like just be a place for me like like a home like everyone smiles like everyone working hard and stuff just gave me like motivation to like feel like, like it's okay like it's okay I think it's changed me a lot because um, all my friends and all the people I've hung out with like throughout college were pretty much Taiko people. <laughs> so many fun times outside, you know, Taiko playing, so, which I think is important for the group, you know, the group's cohesion and teamwork, so. Um, I mean, I have other friends outside of Taiko, of course, but like, it was kind of a little group that I hung out with the most and put most of my effort into. Um, and because of that, like they kind of changed me and they helped me grow as a person because I went to a small Christian school for high school or K-12 I should say um, and I was really sheltered and I didn't realize that until I came to college and my mind was... <laughs> Senryu has really given me like the confidence to play or to be a performer and just really uh, put myself out there more in terms of meeting new people and not be so shy and like afraid. I was pretty reserved and kind of shy coming into college but now I'm more open and like just kind of crazy and say things like poop all the time. <laughs> Basically joining Sydney has made me a stronger person and has, filled, has made me think to myself I can do something in life other than you know school and you know doing all my you know, being stressed out all the time. I'm gonna miss it when I, when I leave. <laughs> For future members, I wanna say that if you put enough uh, effort and dedication, you can get to the level you want to achieve. Um, the important thing is to have fun while doing it and it'll be worthwhile. And also don't be afraid to be yourself also. Work hard. I know it gets a little tedious sometimes, but I mean, that all those, all that, basic training and all that really rudimentary stuff, it's, it's really important too. And then the fun will come when, when you put in the hard work. Invest as much as you can in Sinryu because it goes by really fast. Um, I regret taking like that one year off, I guess, that I did. They should always help each other out. Some of us are slow learners like me and then <laughs> some of us are really fast learners and I feel like what makes a group perfect is always um, sharing what you've learned throughout the years or sharing what you're learning with others because 
if you're leaving one person behind, then the group starts, in my opinion, to deteriorate. So even though sometimes we fail to believe in other people in the group, like, you should always give them the benefit of the doubt. Like, you should always have faith in people that they can do it. Just really come into, like, learning to play taiko with an open mindset, like, don't think just because you have like musical background or like uh, anything prior to it that you have like you're better than someone. Just always keep like a humble and like down to earth personality when learning. Like the type of community is all about like cooperation and working with one another. So I think that's a really important thing to um, put or keep in mind when joining Senior because Senior is a really good group. Everyone's like always willing to help out, and I think if you let people help you, then you're going to be a great player. Genuinely have fun. Um, just work hard and genuinely have fun. Just calm down and have fun with it. For current members, uh, I want to say thank you for being yourselves, especially Gen 15. You guys, you know, we were all a little weird, but um, that's what kept me around, you know. Uh, if we would be bored without everyone's personalities and everything. Thank you for putting up with my slow learning and memorizing patterns and songs and stuff. So, but some things come to an end and I'm gonna miss all of you. For my last two years, you guys are such a weird group of people. <laughs> but you're, I'm, thank you. Thank you for taking me in for who I am and for being appreciative and for a lot of really great conversations and a really, really awesome time. If I had to thank people, I would thank people from the past, you know, like Russell, Anthony, Audrey. Um, I love Tiffany. I love Nick. I love a whole bunch of, I love my generation. I think we're like the best generation, so. Generation to current Sunday members, uh, I love each and every one of you. I'm going to miss you guys so much. Like, I really don't want to leave. Like, I wish I could stay another year, maybe stay another two years just to play with you guys some more. Um, but yeah, just like I said about the future members, keep that humble and down to earth personalities and just really have fun playing Taiko. Don't take things too seriously. Um, yeah, I love you guys so much. <laughs> I'm going to miss you guys. For some members, I think I've been too harsh on critiques and I, I, I feel really sorry for being harsh a little bit, but it was for, um, you know, just so we can like motivate ourselves to be better. And I know I thought I was better than everyone at one point and I, I, I was being really cocky, so always strive to be better and don't think you're better than everyone else. One of the most memorable two years of my life. Um, I hope no one takes their time here for granted. Thank you. Thank you for accepting me. You have no idea how this has affected my life and I am forever, forever grateful that you accepted me into this group. And basically, uh, to my, uh, I say, to my gen and all, all other gens as well that have influenced me. Thank you so much for, you know, being there, you know, withstanding my craziness, my rowdiness, and I guess accepting who I am, accepting kind of who I am. Cause like, at first I was nervous to be in this group because I thought, oh, am I gonna fit in or not? But as soon as I saw you guys were like that, like, you know, chill down to earth, I was like, yes, I found my homestead. <laughs> But other than that, I would like to say thank you. Thank you so much for being be in my life and thank you for playing Taiko with me. Thanks for an awesome five years. Yay. To Tiffany, if you're watching, she won't be there at Banquet, but um, I'm really glad you stayed like another year because I don't know how our group would have functioned without you. You play a really integral part in Senyu and Senyu would not be the same without you next year and I'm kind of glad I'm leaving at the same time because <laughs> um, I will definitely miss 
being in center with you. I'll try to visit sometime in the future. Uh, maybe even attend some of your concerts. I really want to see what you guys come up with. And maybe even 20th anniversary banquet, maybe? I don't know. But, uh, but thank you, and you guys didn't just make, you know, an acquaintance. You guys made a lifelong friend, so thank you. I miss you guys. I'm gonna miss everyone. Um, so, but I will come to visit and what, come to concerts and stuff.